Hi, Harper's Bazaar Arabia. It's Amna Bani Hashim. Welcome to my home. And I'm sitting here with my sister, Dana. So, Dana, what's your favorite childhood memory? No, I think uh, going to the corner store or the baqala or the dakan is a big part of the culture here. <laughs> if you want to bribe a kid, just tell him, I'm going to take you to the dakan. <laughs> you can buy whatever you want. Yeah, I remember even when we used to go to our friend's house, they used to always like call the baqala. It was just like a landline and we would order specific things that everyone in the culture would order like choki choki, chips aman, Swiss rolls. Leban up. <laughs> Leban up, yeah. My favorite childhood memory is definitely spending time with family and cousins. Jumeirah Beach was just like a walk. We just crossed the street. There were no like pavements. There, there wasn't anything and everything was so empty. Things were so simple growing up. Family ties were so much stronger. So we'd be like 20, 30 cousins all playing together barefoot, you know, swimming digging or in the desert. Even uh, friends um, and, you know, the, the people of the community, we used to all go to the same places. There was only Wafi Mall. And I still remember, like, when every weekend we would go, we would see all the community, the same people. And even if you never spoke to, to the person, you, you already know them and you see them growing up. So the community was so tightly knit. That we always smell nice. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite thing about being Emirati is being a part of a culture that welcomes everyone. Everybody feels like this is their home and I think this is my favorite thing is that whenever I sit with someone they just tell me how much they love this country and how much they feel more at home here than their own. In our households at the center of the family is actually a woman so most decisions are made. A lot of the women are actually independent even financially like our grandmas our mothers although they choose to be like homemakers they have leverage you know <laughs> they always taught us growing up that it's so important to be financially independent it's so important to have your own sense of self hobbies stuff that define you as an individual so we grew up with that our fathers, the men in the family, really pushed for proper education. They never stood in our way. The leadership here, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed, has a very progressive view. It sounds progressive, but even in our culture and religion, women always played a major role. So it's building up on these values and implementing them today. In the media, our image as GCC women or Muslim Arab women is very distorted. We're viewed as these oppressed uh, women that can't do much. But what we've learned from each other, especially what I've learned from her, is that we have true grit and resilience, willpower. When you put your mind to something, the sky's the limit. We're decision makers, we're very empowered. And now in modern times, his Highness again supports us women. What I've learned throughout the years is that giving up is not a choice and having family around you is extremely important. The support that I've had from my sisters is something that is unmatched to any of the, you know, support that I felt from the, the outside world. They're my strength and because they've supported me, I am who I am today. It has evolved drastically over the years. I remember when we were living in Jumeirah one, it was literally a desert. We could hear the lion roaring in the zoo. We can see the ocean. It was so empty. And of course, it wasn't as multicultural. Uh, when Sheikh Mohammed uh, took leadership, he definitely drove Dubai in a very futuristic direction. He invested in the people, he invested in an infrastructure, he invested in uh, the expats that came. He involved everyone in his journey. I'm very grateful to be a part of the UAE. My favorite meal to have with my family is definitely lunch. In our family, breakfast wasn't really big, but lunch always was. And we all had to be present. It wasn't like a choice. 
It's kind of like my big fat Greek wedding. There are so many people and you're not allowed not to eat. People <laughs> will be scooping piles of food in your plate. And it's just so much fun. And of course the flavors are super yummy. There's always so much variety and we look forward to certain foods. So it's always exciting. For me, it's definitely Haris. Definitely. <laughs> it never gets old. It's like a mushy, stretchy type of food that we have during Ramadan, during Eid, special occasions, weddings, and it's always been my favorite. So I remember as a child, I used to be very picky. Oh, yeah. yeah I was. She I was. I only used food. to eat like. I don't eat junk food. And she was like yeah. three or four. Yeah. <laughs> and they had to pack her healthy food. <laughs> And the only thing I would eat is uh, white rice and chicken curry, uh, the legendary <laughs> chicken curry. But yeah, that's, um, that's my favorite dish till today. We're celebrating Emirati Women's Day by spending time together and going back to the simple things and remembering why we are who we are and what made us the way we are today. There's always a gathering involved. <laughs> Friends, cousins, uh, it's gonna be a day where we connect, we just kick back, relax, do the things we enjoy. The food involved. <laughs>